everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. I hope you're doing well. A few years ago, I put together a video. And that video was an explanation of the Jiu Jitsu belt system. Um, I had this, this little junky camera that I got off of the web and uh, posted up on a tripod and it, I didn't have any separate mic, so the sound wasn't all that good. Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. Hope all is going well. But if you look at our channel, you look at the list of videos, that is our number one video, and I have no idea how or why it is. I can't even watch it myself, and to see that people still watch it, I feel for you, because it's torturous for me to watch it. What Rusty and I did was thought to ourselves a while back, how can we redo this video to make it more watchable? And um, we got together with Kataro, and Kataro furnished us with a bunch of belts, starting with the white belt. The white belt is the very first belt that you get. It's usually the belt that you buy, the, the one that you buy with your, your uniform, your initial uniform. It, it could be you've gotten free or whatever, but you know, in, in, a, in the most technical sense, you bought that belt with the price of your admission. And this belt can range anywhere from, I've seen it disappear on my student from as quick as four months, and some people, they're, they're still white belts, you know, a few years later. What I've gleaned from other instructors is this belt is typically a one to two year belt. Now you do have situations where it'll go less than a year and you do have situations where it'll go longer than a year. For us, it's just a matter of checking off the boxes. You know, you hit the criteria that we, we, we require and you get the belt. <clears throat> For others, it's time. You know, the longer you're a member, you know, you eventually get your next belt by time. And some people use as markers stripes on the white belt like we do, like we have on this belt here. And we don't. And traditional Gracie Jiu Jitsu schools do not stripe the white belts. That's a new phenomenon. That probably came about in about the year 2000. <clears throat> so now this whole belt system was put together by Elio and Carlos Gracie back in 1967. It was <clears throat> in response to, I guess, people wanting to have more obvious markers on their journey. P prior to this, they had three belts. They had a white, they had a light blue, and they had a navy blue. And the light blue was the belt that signified an assistant instructor. The navy blue, which might have been darker than this, I'm not sure, the navy blue was the instructor for professors. So three belts, white, uh, light blue in the middle, navy blue. And if you weren't an assistant instructor or an instructor, you had a white belt. You could have been training with the Gracies for 30 years, but never went into the instructor training program and you had a white belt. The belt is just there to tie your gi on, really. But we need them to kind of signify changes in our progress. And especially in our culture today, people like to always have a little bit that they earn. They want to know that they're not sitting at the very bottom floor anymore. So that's the white belt. The blue belt is the next belt. This belt can go anywhere from two to five years. For us, it's more typical the two to three year range. As you can see, um, there, there's a stripe on this particular belt here, but you'd have three more stripes on this belt, just like you would on a white belt if your school stripes belts. All these belts up until, up through the brown belt would have four stripes on them. That's just to limit the color of belts that we have here because you have some martial arts where each one of those marks, they'll give you a new belt. But this is a lot simpler to have, a white, blue, purple, brown, black, rather than a white and a white with a gray stripe and a white with a yellow stripe and a white with a blue stripe and a whatever, which is how they're doing them today. Now, <clears throat> the Gracie Academy has a belt in between the white and the blue and they call that the combatives belt. And that's a white belt, and it's a belt I don't have, unfortunately. But it's a white belt with a blue stripe going right down the whole line of the belt. That's for the people who go through first 36 lessons of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, which they put in their combatives curriculum, which is like a, um, a Jiu-Jitsu white belt .5 belt, I guess. Or blue belt .5, you know, half a blue belt. I have no idea. You know, that's not a belt we use, but it's a belt that I know they, they've instituted because a lot of their students learn online. Most instructors, us, Kama Jiu Jitsu included, um, we require a lot more hands-on seeing of our, in, of our students to, to get to the blue belt, or any belt for that matter. But the blue belt here, typically two years to three years. Um, I've, I've heard of people going as long as six years, and I've heard of people going through the blue belt in as little as a year. I, I can't tell you there's a set standard for any belt. I can only give you general guidelines, 
right? So where are we at? One to two years, two to three years. The next belt is the purple belt. Now the purple belt generally is a belt that, that needs a lot of work, which means this could be a three to five year belt. And this belt tends to be a longer belt because this is where a lot of instructors now look at their student as being serious. A white belt to go to blue, it does take a lot of change in your life. Right? And, and that way for me, my opinion, this is the harder belt to go through to reach your blue than it is to go from blue to purple or purple to brown. Technically speaking, the purple belt is a difficult belt because that's the point at which you've been exposed to almost the entire curriculum in your jujitsu school, if they have a curriculum. Most don't, but let's say they do have a curriculum. You've learned, you, you've had to learn the entire curriculum from white to purple, and you have to get to a point where you have a good command of it, right? Where you're proficient, right? If you're a purple belt, you're what we call street proficient. Blue belt, street ready, right? There's a difference between being ready and being proficient. Proficient means you're good. But you now have to clean up all the rough edges in your training. Maybe you're not really good at submitting people from the guard, but you can get them everywhere else, right? You're still a purple belt, but now you gotta work on that. Or let's say your mount, you can mount and you can hold people all the time, but for some reason, the choke, you know, the, the underhand, underhand, the, the cross collar choke just doesn't work for you. That's where you would take the time to, to get it dialed in. You dial everything in during your purple belt. And a lot of times when I said about, what I said about instructors seeing their students becoming serious as their purple belt is because I've experienced it and I've seen it to where instructors pay very little attention to you as a white belt. They give you a blue belt and they're going, okay, you know, he's coming around, you know, let me, let me kind of give him a little more stuff. Purple belt, then they're going, okay, he's been with me all this time, he's not going anywhere, let me take more time and let me work on his issues with him. Right? Even though they don't do any privates, whatever, just group students. They'll kind of work a little bit more, watch the purple belt, okay, you know, I need you to kind of figure this out. Well, it's one of those, why didn't you tell me when I was a white or a blue belt? He's not gonna tell you this, but it could have been because I didn't think you were gonna stick around, right? Now that you're a purple belt, you've now been in jujitsu at a minimum of one, two, three, four, you're now about five years in. Between five and seven years, you're now in my school and you've been training or maybe not in my school, but just training. Maybe you relocate because of your job or whatever, but you've been training for that long. I know you're serious now, and let me take you to the next step. The next, so you run through all your stripes on your purple. Uh, we don't stripe on purples. The only belt that we stripe on is blue. Uh, and the reason is just like what we had just talked about. We don't stripe on white because traditionally we never did. So we don't stripe on white, we stripe on blue because blue belts are still in that, they still got one foot in their old life, you know, before jujitsu, and they got one foot in the new life, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we encourage them by showing them, yes, you are progressing, so here's a, here's a stripe on your belt. But once we get to purple belt, the assumption is you're not going anywhere. Now, you don't need this kind of candy to, to make you continue to get better, which is where the purple belt, for us, no stripes. Brown belt, no stripes either. But so like I said, this, the, the purple belt is an important belt because your life has now become jujitsu among other things, you know, you're now doing this all the time. When you're not, when you have free time, you want to do jujitsu. When you don't have any time for jujitsu, you're kind of pissed off, right? You're like, I can't train today, right? And, and you get upset that you can't train. That's the purple belt time. We clean everything up as instructors. Make sure that you're good to go on everything. Everything that you're responsible for, it happens during your purple belt. And once that happens, brown belt. So brown belt. Dave calls this belt the black belt in disguise because execution-wise, you're just as good as a black belt. You do an arm bar from the guard as good as a black belt. You do a, a choke from the mount as good as a black belt. You can transition through positions as well as any black belt, but you're a brown belt. Why? This belt <clears throat> tends to be a belt where we now develop your game. All right, you've got everything that you need to know. All the curriculum points are all in and they're good. Now let's lift up. Let's look at you from this, this level here instead of down here and let's kind of piece things together. All right, you tend to be very good at doing this, right? So whenever you're here, I want you to do this. And when you're there, I want you to do that. This is where we take everything that you've learned over the years 
and we distill it. It's not that you're gonna forget anything, you're not. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, all right, these are the steps that you're gonna take based on you. I could have five brown belts and they're gonna have completely different games. So now this is where the game comes into. What is this person's game? We develop it here, okay? Up to here, we don't let you, we try not to let you develop a game because you may kind of fall into something, but it's not really where we think, as the instructor, think you really should be. But we'll figure it out during brown belt. You know, and, and for other schools, they have stripes on the brown belts as well. I never got stripes because Dave doesn't believe in them. For me, it didn't matter whether he striped me or not. I'm not going anywhere, right? But I know every, every class I had a task in my mind what I needed to do to work on that game, right? And that's what the brown belt is for. Typically, if everything up here was done correctly, this is a one to two year belt. So we've got one to two years here, we've got two to three years here, we've got three to five years here, and we've got one to two years here. So you've got two, three, four, five, 10, 12 on the long end, and then you get to your black belt. Now, black belt here. This is the belt that says that you've gone through all these steps here. You are now a black belt. With a black belt, it's assumed that you know what your curriculum is. Now, does that mean you know everything in jujitsu? Absolutely not. The reason is because things are always changing. But the core fundamental concepts never change. The concept doesn't change, but the technique may change. Now, it may change for the better, may change for the worse. A lot of people say, well, you know, um, it's evolving. Well, just because it's evolving doesn't mean it's a good thing. It could be evolving backward, right? So, one thing that I used to think about was, as far as me getting to the black belt from when I was a purple belt, I, I saw all these new changes happening. To me, it's, I thought, I didn't know what the criteria was because I never awarded black belt. I'm a purple belt, I don't know what a black belt is, right? But my thought was, man, there's so many things going, I'll never learn it all. And since I can never learn it all, I'll never be a black belt. It didn't matter to me at that point. I was like, yeah, whatever. You know, black belts are for some people, it may not be for me. Oh, lo and behold, eventually I got it. Now, what is that white bar on there? That white bar is for us, for, for common jiu-jitsu, and we're not, only the, we're not the only ones that use the white bar, but a white bar is a black belt. It could be a black belt, just black all the way through with no bar, or black with a white bar. It, you're a black belt. For some schools, it's your competition black belt. You are a competitor. You may compete, 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 but you never teach. You're not in any instructor program. That's your belt. Or it could just be a straight black belt. It really doesn't matter. But that's really what it is. It's not saying that this black belt is a lesser black belt than somebody who has the red bar on it, right? So this is how most people buy a black belt. It looks like this. But for us, the red bar here means you're an instructor. You're, you're in the instructor training program. You are being trained to teach. You already are proficient in the technique and the execution of it, but now you have to, there, there's another discipline in learning how to pass that knowledge on. You can be a black belt in execution, but that doesn't mean you can teach people that are of a lower belt than you. You may be the most horrible teacher, but you're the most fantastic practitioner. With us, once you're a black belt and you decide, you know what, I wanna make this part of my life in passing knowledge on, that's where the red bar comes in, right? So you can, at that point in time, you become an assistant instructor and then, um, and then you do this for a couple years, you know, you're teaching as an assistant instructor, then you end up getting your professor bars. As you can see, I'm only a second degree black belt and that doesn't make me really qualified to be able to know what makes a black belt. You know, I've, I've awarded all these belts, but not this one. That's something we'll leave to Dave Kama himself. Hello everybody, this is David Kama for Kama Jiu Jitsu. So why, why black belt? So it's, it's kind of a funny story. It's a long, long historical story for, for belts. Is that you, when, you start, when you start your journey, you start with a white belt. And you keep on training, you keep on training, you keep on training, your, your belt gets kind of dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. And over the years, 10 years, for, for instance, your, blood, your, your, your white belt is so dirty, it turns black, you know? <laughs> kind of gross, but it's kind of a different analogy. It's kind of like uh, the evolution of, you know, you, you training so much, you know? Some people like, I think everybody thinks that they know um, 
what the black belt really means is pretty much the height of your career. A black belt pretty much is a culmination of all your training for, for years. Normally it takes about 10 years to get a black belt. It takes a really long time. Some people get it sooner, some people get some people take longer than 10 years to get their, their black belt. And I like that system because really, you know, you don't get your black belt until you deserve your black belt. Do you know all your self-defense? Have you learned all the, te all the, at least the core techniques and to the point where you're really, really proficient at them? So um, I like to put it in perspective um, uh, that maybe everybody can understand a little bit better. You, for four years, you went to college and typically you get your, your bachelor's degree by four years. Two more years, you get your master's degree, you keep on going, and then for another two years, you'll get your PhD, right? Roughly eight years, um, you, know, you get your PhD, right? In uh, our system, um, it takes an average of about 10 years to get your, your black belt. So once you've, once you've graduated, um, that's where the normal black belt comes in play. Here's, the normal, here's an example of a normal black belt. Um, and sometimes a normal black belt with a white bar is which, what we use. And some people ask us, says, why do you have a white bar? And then we have another belt here that has a red bar, right? So what's the difference between the white bar and the, and the red bar? So the difference between the white bar and the red bar is that you teach. You teach Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Um, now that all, learning, all the things that you've learned, now you actually are teaching it to others. So we give you a red bar to, to recognize you for that. Oh, you get the red bar, you become a professional. So you've gotten a job, you know, and teaching is a job. So you become a professional black belt. You're teaching Gracie Jiu Jitsu, right? So you get the red bar. So in a sense, a red bar means you're, you're a professional. Just a black belt or a black belt with a white bar means you've, you've achieved your degree. You're very, very good. You're very proficient. If you want to take it another notch up, get a red bar, start teaching people. I mean, that's kind of what we, we want to, you know, to let everybody know and to teach everybody around the world about jiu-jitsu. Yeah, so the, once you start teaching, we give you the red bar without the, without the, uh, the white, white bars. Uh, kind of like a teacher assistant, you know, kind of a thing. But usually a black belt can teach really, really well right out, right out of the gate. Right? At least ours do. And usually when you get the, the red belt, um, almost sometimes, most, almost immediately you get the, the white bars because most of our black belts have been teaching for more than two years before they even get their black belt. So uh, we go ahead and give the white bar too. They're pretty proficient when they, once they get their black belts. So it uh, depends on, it ranges from school to school, but you know, and person to person, but that's kind of how it, how it goes. If you teach for a, a couple years, we give a couple stripes on the end of the, the red bar to signify you've been teaching for a couple of years. Um, this is an example of Ryan's belt. He's got a couple stripes on here. This is kind of the old way we did it. We kind of took uh, some tape and we, we taped it across there. And as, the, as you roll around, the tape comes off, you put the tape back on and you know, something like that some guys make a joke and they put more stripes on there just for fun, something like that, just to, as a joke to everybody else. But anyway, so uh, the stripe system basically, basically is for, for teachers. Um, it's not for anybody else except for somebody who's teaching. Okay, so if you don't teach, you don't get degrees um, in our system. So um, basically for the first stripe, it'll take you three years to get that. Um, for the second stripe, if you teach for another three years, um, each six years, you'll get your second stripe. Uh, teach for another three years, um, you'll get three, de three degrees, which makes you be teaching for nine years. So after that, it uh, changes to get your fourth degree, it'll go up to five years. So uh, you add another five years. So fourth degree will be 14 years. Uh, fifth degree would be 19 years, uh, be another five years. So take 24 years to get up to black belt, uh, sixth degree. As you go through your journey, you get your black belt, you go through all your degrees, um, all the way to six degrees. As the white belt turns black, now your black belt starts to wear down. And so now where do you go from there? As your black belt changes, it goes to, it starts going red. See, it's kind of Kind of funny. It's kind of an, a weird analogy. Your your belt starts wearing down in different spots, and all of a sudden, the the red starts showing through. Right? Where do you go from black belt? Sixth degree. After seven years, after you get your sixth degree, uh, it's 24 years. Another seven years, you get your seventh seventh degree. Seventh degree is a coral belt. As you can see, it's uh, black and red, and it also has the seven stripes on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stripes, and of course the two bars on the end. Is, uh, is a coral belt. Considered uh, basically um, kind of like a retirement belt. You kind of retire from fighting. Um, and generally after 31 years, um, uh, you're getting up on age. So um, probably a good time to retire too. After another seven years, you get another stripe on there. It would be eight degrees on the coral belt. 
Yeah, so Hickson had, um, Hickson had uh, kept his black belt um, until he decided to retire from fighting. So I, I think there's a funny story where he's standing next to another coral belt, um, uh, which is a seventh, seven degrees, and he's got eight, eight degrees on his belt, but he still has a black belt. He doesn't have a coral belt because Hickson hasn't quite retired from fighting yet. So, but um, that's kind of what a, uh, a coral belt means. For, for black belts, you're commonly called professor, and you go to coral belt, you're commonly called um, master. And then when you go to red belt, you go grandmaster. So, and this, uh, the black and red, I believe, is, um, is just a transition color from, from black to red, which is grandmaster. So, um, Again, it's a coral belt. You'll see coral belts, and coral belts should have either seven degrees or eight degrees on them. And uh, we have the, they have this belt here. This is the, actually, this is an IBJJF belt. This is not part of our system, but this is IBJF for, for, for the user who, who go by the IBJJF uh, system. This is the IBJJF belt for eighth degree. You see the red and white is what IBJ Jeff has, and they have uh, degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth degree, so the eighth degree. So this is what they, the IBJ Jeff came up with um, for the eighth, eighth degree. This is not our system. So we go by the JJGF and the older system, which is the coral belt, and the eighth degrees are on the coral belt. Uh, just so so you guys know, know the difference, um, just, Two different systems, nothing other than that. Okay, so the color the color that, that the IBJJF uses um, is uh, traditionally judo. So if you look at a judo black belt, it um, it has um, it has the same colors for for the seventh and the eighth degree uh, black belts in judo. It's uh, kind of red and white. It's not it's uh, traditional for for judo, um, but not traditional for Gracie Jiu Jitsu. So um, that's kind of where I think that's where they kind of took it. But traditionally for Gracie Jiu Jitsu, it's um, black and red. Uh, that's what we use. That's what Hickson wears. Um, so traditional, this is kind of more traditional for, uh, for Gracie Jiu Jitsu. And then, um, and this is more traditional for, for basically Judo. So anyway. So as a, as a core belt, you know, kind of like uh, as a snake sheds its skin a little bit, as a core belt kind of wears out, it goes to a uh, red belt. So this is the Grand Masters belt, uh, ninth degree, 45 years, um, it takes to get this belt uh, based on our system, J um, JJGF. And here's, here's a nice red belt, as you can see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine degrees on the red belt. And this is the Grand Masters belt. And this is the last belt you get in Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, I don't know what it means to me. I mean, that means that you just, you're the oldest and been doing it the longest, and we highly respect you for contributing. Highly respect you for contributing all your knowledge to everybody for and dedicated your life, basically 45 years, to to this art, stuff like that. And it's kind of like a recognition of your service to Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Basically, we show a, a deep amount of respect for those who have te been teaching us, teaching all of us for 45 years and produce un untold many black belts around the world. Not anybody can get a red belt. You have to have like at least 45 years in and also you have to be teaching continuously for 45 years. Uh, yes, yeah, so a black belt's black belt. So not anybody can get this red belt, right? So after you become a black belt, not like black belts, not anybody can get a black belt, right? So you have to be good enough to be a black belt, and not everybody can get the red belt, right? You have to, you have to. There's certain, certain criteria you have to accomplish to be able to get the red belt. So not anybody can get the red belt. Um, it's kind of a lifetime achievement, like we talked about. 45 years of continuous teaching, Grace Jiu Jitsu, and dedication to the art would get you the red belt. So no, no, not not anybody can get the red belt. Not anybody can get a PhD or a, a master's degree, right? You have to put in the work um, to achieve this. So it's a um, very coveted. Um, highly desired and highly respected belt. So as all your blood, sweat, and tears that you put through all the 45 years, is, you can kind of equate that to the red belt as well. Okay, and that's everything I have for from everything from black to, to red belts. So with that, thank you very much, you guys, and I'll hand it over to Ryan. Ryan, here you go. Thanks, Dave. So I want to thank you guys for watching our video on Kataro belts. and. Hopefully you got to see the reasons why we like these belts so much. I want to thank Kataro for sponsoring this video. And what they've decided to do was to, by sponsoring it, offering three belts to you guys. So, you know, I like these so much, I have four of them. 
you'll just uh, check out our notes below for all the details on how to win your belt. Uh, they'll be giving away one each of their three different types of weaves of belts. So this, this one here is a grappling weave and they've got two other weaves that you'll... Once again, thanks Kataro. Guys, be sure to click on the link below. Um, support the companies that support us. If you have any questions, type it in the comments below. All right, take care. Happy training. Bye now.